YouTube, Google, and Facebook will be dead if we don't act now. This is what YouTube will look like when Article 13 takes effect. There's no music, there's no imagery, there's no more gameplays, there's no more music videos. Article 13 holds the platform liable for hosted copyrighted content. Implementation of this will lead to strict internet censorship and significantly attacks the fundamental freedom of speech while passing all control of the media to corporate copyright holding monopolies. This is a direct attack at our freedom in a gross neglect of democracy itself. We need you to help stop this insanity. The internet will die if we don't take action. The radical censorship enforced by content filters will affect every internet user worldwide. Act now. Share this message. Upload it everywhere. Join the Fight 13 movement now and fight for your rights. You can help by spreading awareness, attending demonstrations all over Europe and vote everyone responsible for this blatant offense out of their seats. The EU elections are between May 23rd and May 26th. We need to meet this injustice with the full force of the entire internet community combined. Save your internet, save your freedom. Welcome back to the final Hearthstone Report card reveal review. Say that five times fast for this expansion. Uh, we have uh, like we have loads and loads of cards, so this is gonna be like an hour report probably. So um, better, better strap your seats. Quick reminder that we have a Discord channel, so uh, if you want to chat with us, have some talk with the community, need some Hearthstone help, maybe you're a beginner, that's the uh, right place for you to be. So join that server and uh, and have some fun and uh, talk trash to the community. So. Let's get into how many? Like 78 cards? 78 cards. So that's the downside of doing this once per month. But we have picked up one of the suggestions from uh, one of our Discord patrons, actually. Not an actual patron because we don't do that yet. But uh, one of our very much honored Discord server members. And we're going to do the rest of the classes, the rest of the cards by class. Oh, yeah. Also, we have mentioned this a lot in the past, but I don't think we've done that a lot recently. We do appreciate constructive criticism. Yeah, obviously. If you, if right? you have any yeah. ideas how to make the format better yeah. or anything like that, just yeah. tell us. Shout out to whoever said that. I can't remember. Do you remember who it was? I'll, I'll put it in the video. Yeah, I'll, I'll look it up if I get the time. But yeah, shout out to, the, to that guy. So, starting from Druid, we have Crystal Song Portal. Two mana spell, discover a Druid minion. If, you, if your hand has no minions, keep all three. I spell Druid. I mean... No, I don't think so. I, I think no. this is um, this is a basically it's a bit more situational, but also overall stronger version of Omega Assembly, but for Druid. Is it stronger? I don't think it's stronger. So, do you play basically play this when your hand is almost empty, anyways? Mm -hmm. Like in the late game when you're yeah. because you're not drawing that fast, you can draw relatively well with Druid, which is the one downside of this. Yeah, almost. exactly. It doesn't seem like. But doesn't seem like. if you're having a relatively small hand. You can just play this and get three minions, and specifically, those are druid minions. Those are druid minions. Which, for the most part, are relatively stronger Strong. endgame cards, oftentimes. Which is when you will want to play this, so you're getting more value out of this than you would out of Omega Assembly, yeah. for example, with all the smaller max. So, uh, I, I'm not I'm not quite sure about this. I think uh, for a card like this to be utilized, there has to be a reliable way to make... The extra effect happened every time, like with Omega Assembly Player on 10 or with uh, with the um, Master's Call in Hunter, as we've seen most recently. So I'm not sure how this is going to work out. Dreamway Guardians, also 2 mana spell. Summon 2, 1, 2 Dryads with Lifesteal. Uh, definitely supports the Healing Druid idea. Yeah, this supports the idea of Healing Druid, but it also definitely is a good idea for Token. Because yeah. you want to go wide on the board, it summons 2 things. That's yeah, fine. The stats for two mana are fine as compared to Firefly. It's not as flexible. It's but it does have both life steal. And it has life steal, yeah. Which is uh, really important. And I think this definitely fits into Druid as well. They're arguably going to be beasts, I assume? I don't think so. What are they going to be? I don't think they have a tag. Okay. Well, Firefly and Elementals. I'm so. not 100% certain because we don't have uh, all the yeah, tokens in front of us right now. But I've seen them. I don't think okay. they have any tags. Okay, yeah, they, I mean, that's a, that's a minor. Because usually show. intelligent creatures will not get a beast tag. Okay. Life Weaver. 3 mana, 2, 5. Whenever you restore health, add a random druid spell to your hand. Spell druid. I uh, mean, no. <laughs> no. But, um... But value in health restoration druid. Yeah, exactly. And um, the stats are fine. The stats are... Yeah, it's alright. They're a it's, bit... It's, it's carry on grub, right? It's, they're a bit it's unbalanced towards defense, but, um... They are basically 3 mana worth of stats. Mm -hmm. 
with a bonus effect mm -hmm. that can relatively easily be proc'd for a good amount of value. Yeah, I think so. Too. And also, so nice. value and defensive stats usually go hand in hand relatively well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because so, you want it to stick to get the passive effect. So yeah, I, th I think this is a good card. Yeah, I, th I think so too. We'll see if, if the deck finds play, but it definitely has potential. And then we have the big legendary... What's it called? Lucent? Luc Lucent Bark. Luc no, it's Lucent Bark. Lucent it's Bark? Lucent, it's Lucent. Oh, it's Lucent. It's Lucent Bark. 8 mana, 8-4 eight, with Taunt. And Death Rattle will go dormant. If you restore 5 health... You restore 5 health to... Uh, awakens to meaning. Awakens again, Right, mean, like yeah. it works like the Darkness. Or like Sheriff's and Corpse Flower with a much more manageable uh, condition to, to revive. I, I guess. And uh, it has Taunt too, which is important. So this can... Yeah. If we can multiply this, like and play it in wild, play with the Hadronox, get several ones of these, play with the, um, it doesn't work with the Undertaker. Yeah, get it, play with the Undertaker, you know. Uh, the Undertaker does work with this, but it would revive as a Lucent Bark. But that's fine. It's yeah, no, but I'm, I'm just saying it wouldn't revive as an Undertaker. Yeah, but still, I mean, more 4 8 with Taunt, right? Um, because that we've seen an interaction with Sherazen before. I think Don't this card it. is fine. If it didn't have Taunt, I think this would be horrible. Yeah, if it didn't have Taunt, this is not useful at all. Because that's the one used for this. Yeah, definitely. You want to uh, defend with this. But I, th I think it's okay. I'm not sure. It, it depends on how the Druid will end up looking, whether or not it will actually end up running it. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, one mana Acorn Bearer. Not Bear, Bearer. That's, that's even more Bear than the Bear. It's Bearer. Two, uh, one, Death Rattle, add two, one, one, squirrels to your hand. These squirrels will be beasts, I'm assuming. Yes. Um, and uh, this looks like some crazy value on one. Yeah, I mean, this is one of those cards where it's just, this is a good one drop. Yeah. It has beneficial Death Rattle. Also com compares to Firefly again. In this case, you're getting two tokens. Yes. Of course, they're one ones, but still. I mean, it's most of the time it's guaranteed that the, your uh, Acorn Bearer will be dead by the time you take your second turn, or all, a lot of the time at least, so then you get it all. And also, once again, this goes into the idea of the token strategy yeah, that just wants to go wide definitely. and buff the board. Yeah. Talking about buffing the board. Blessing of the Ancients. Three mana twin spell, give your minions plus one plus one. This Mark of the Lotus, but a bit worse. Well, yeah, it's... Um, I think the better comparison right now is part of the Wild. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, because it's a bit closer to mana. It's a bit less flexible, but it also has extra value. This is a, on the one hand, this is a hard card to evaluate. On the other hand, I mean, there is turns where I just want to six mana give your minions plus two attack. Yeah, and then savage roar on top of that. Yeah, because exactly because this is kind of like a savage roar for a yeah. bit more expensive, but it's also more permanent. You can just play it once if it helps you for better trades, or you can play it twice if you want to push. So, so it's, it's, it has versatility. It's a little bit worse than Market Lotus in terms of. The, the mana cost, yeah, but the Mark of the Lotus has Lotus also been stated to be the strongest AoE yeah. buff I mean, Mark that they've Lotus ever, in, that Mark they've Lotus ever was done. Great, so. yeah, that's true. So we're going to get into the Hunter cards, because that's all the Druid cards. And uh, for Hunter, we have 9 lives, 3 mana spell with Discover a Friendly Death Rattle minion that died this game, also trigger its Death Rattle. There's potential high end for this stuff. Yeah, this card can be really crazy. Now, mind that a lot of Death Rattle stuff for Hunter rotates. We got um, Katrina Winter Wisp gone. Yeah, that, that would have been crazy. Yeah, we have uh, the, the, the Egg, Devil's or Egg gone. Yeah. We still, like, I mean, it could work in Mech for all. It doesn't have to be a, a beast, right? It could work with yeah, Mechanical exactly. Dragon. Uh, There's basically two ideas, I think, on, mechanical weld, right? on how this can work. And one is with mechs, mm -hmm. which we've look, we've seen before with Oblivertron. Yeah. And they're trying to make mech death rattle thing, and one, once we get to neutrals, there will be more, and there's also one more hunter one. Yeah. So mech death rattle might be a thing. And you're always gonna you're always gonna be considering Undertaker every time. And you can always just consider running this in a regular mid range hunter. Because yes. you have Savannah High Yeah, fine. High is fine. And a three mana summon two two twos? It's fine. Yeah. And get, Adding and extra get value to your yeah. hand is nice. And also Oblivatron. Potentially. Probably yeah. not, but potentially. Another thing that would go with that is Shimmerfly. One mana, one one with Death Rattle and a random random hunter spell to your hand. I don't think so. I mean, uh, no. the card itself isn't horrible. It's a weaker duel, Makar. Uh, the problem is, you said with nine lives, I don't think so. Because no. it's just way too weak. Yeah, it's not worth it. But it would go, it would definitely go with it. Probably not going to be the choice ever, but we'll see how this does. We have Rapid Fire. Twin spell, deal one damage for one mana. Brings up the idea, to me at least, of Malagos right away, right? Uh, yeah, I was thinking of, along a similar line with uh, Recent Windrunner. 
you can do both, of course, if you can yep. coin or yeah, something. That, that uh, the idea, of course, is why would we not just want a one mana deal two damage with Arcane Shop, which is cheaper? Yeah. And the answer is because with it being split between two cards, we can either split between two targets, spell or damage. we can get more spell damage. Yeah, on but it. spell damage is better. So we play two Arcane Shots, two Twin Spells, if we can cheat out of Malados. Yeah, or... Don't uh, hate it. Again, Risa Windrunner, plus yeah. two spell damage with this the, turn, weapon, yeah. is already pretty good with this. It's looking you're dealing much. six with these, you're dealing four with Arcane Shots, you're dealing seven with uh, yeah. commands. I mean, that's Potentially, fine. that's... There is an idea there. There is an idea, of course. Yeah, definitely. Spell damage hunter. So, we'll see if that's the case. And uh, maybe also combo hunter. They also have a lot of spell damage cards in this expansion. Yes, that's true. So, uh, I mean, it's a, it's a, it's an expansion themed around. Like, yeah, of course. Magic, right? it's, it's, it's a fucking magic floating yeah. city. Now we, next, we got Ursa Tron. 3 mana, 3 3. Mech with Death Rattle. Draw a mech from your deck. If mech hunter becomes a thing, this seems like a good play on 3. Yeah, it's decent value if we had more death rattle triggers. I mean, the only one I think we have right now in Hunter is uh, Nine Lives, not which much. is not necessarily the one you want to use on Ursatron. Yeah, uh, that's true. But even without death rattle triggers, I think this is fine because it's just missing yeah. one point in stats for draw, which one mana draw for, uh, first of all, is not that bad. And second of all, it's Hunter. You need draw. Yeah, is it, a, is it better than Animal Companion? We'll see. Will Mac generally outvalue Beast? Doubtful, but we'll see. Arcane Fletcher is the next one. Four mana, three, three. Whenever you play a one cost minion, draw a spell from your deck. This is weird. This does look weird. It's it's to facilitate draw, I guess. Yeah, it's draw. Again, draw and hunter is nice. Uh, one drops, you generally have some in your hunter mm -hmm. decks. And you also generally have some spells. I mean, this could be played with Shimmer, Shimmer Fly, which also gives you the spell. It's, maybe it's kind of the idea of Spell Hunter, but there's also minions, because now you don't have Rock the Law anyway. Yeah. <laughs> so you can play some supporting minions around. I'm honestly not sure. I don't think Arcane Fletcher is good enough, mm -hmm. but I don't know what to think about it necessarily. Let's see. Hunting Party, 5 mana spell, copy all beasts in your hand. This seems very weak. This seems very, very weak. It's 5 mana, deal nothing, do nothing. That's just not what you need in Hunter at all. I mean, this has, for me, the comparison to Master's Call in a way where when you play it, it seems like really bad tempo, but if you can make use of it, it's really good. Yeah, it's, it's two mana more and yeah, five. The, yeah, the problem is that for Master's Call, you you play it when you don't have a better option because you need the beasts. Yeah. There, you specifically want to keep your good cards to make yeah, a bad tempo no. play to have more value later. Yeah, no, that a hunter is not that controly. Doesn't That's, seem optimal. That is not going to happen. Next we get into mage, starting with magic trick, one mana spell. Uh, discover a spell that costs three or less. So again, uh, about casting cheap spells, right? You're looking at mana cyclone, maybe, potentially, there's a deck there. I'm yeah, not sure. Yeah, the idea the theme that they've been trying to kind of push here is the small spell mage. Yeah, as opposed to the big spell mage. Um, which works very well with everything that wants you to cast a lot of spells. Yes. Like the mana cyclone, like mana worm. Mana worm, I guess. It's bad because they nerfed him, but yes. it might work. And, of course, uh, the upcoming card that we're going to talk about after another one, because, we, or are we going to just talk about now? Let's do Conjurer's Calling first. So yeah. this is also somewhat of a cheap spell. Could be discovered of a magic trick. Twin spell, destroy a minion, summon two minions of the same cost to replace it. So you want to play this on, hopefully, your own minions most of the time. Well, um, there's two applications for this. The one is to destroy buff minions. It's like a yeah. slightly worse pseudo-silence. Yeah, exactly. Um... Or on your own stuff for value. Exactly. If you're playing it on your own stuff, <coughs> play Kagar with first. Cadgar, that works exactly. <laughs> yeah. um, also, just really good value trades. Yeah. Like, really yeah, good. True. Like, make a value trade, then destroy it. Then destroy Have it. like a one health minion destroy it and get like a four drop. Exactly. And then get like four of them because Cadgar. Cadgar looks, looks nice. Looks like value. So maybe maybe control mage. Magic, Dart Frog. Two mana, one, three. After you cast a spell, deal one damage to a random enemy minion. So that is. That is a reference to Huge Toad, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not sure if it necessarily is directly referenced, but. Maybe. It's uh, an amphibian. 
there's definitely a lot of beasts going around in general, and also a lot of generally of, of tribal. It's cars like a mix lately. of pure sword and shadow boxer. Um, this definitely reminds of shadow boxer. Yes. Um, with the small spells, you could proc this potentially a lot. Yeah, a couple times a turn. That's that's not not too bad. You have to kind of get a lot of value out of it the turn you play it. I guess if you get three spells off with it, it's probably good, even if it's getting yeah. removed right away. Also, in general, the small cards that just draw removal sometimes are worth just for that, because then other stuff won't be removed. Because your opponent doesn't have infant removal. Kieran Tor Trickcaster. It's Tricaster. Oh, I, th I thought I was going for Trickster, and then I, in the middle of the, the word, I had to add a readjust. So, uh, spell damage plus three for four mana, three, three. And your spells cause one more. Once again, the idea is to play this with a lot of small spells, but of course the spells become slightly larger. Uh, you might consider running this alongside Social Supremacy to make mm -hmm. to counteract it, but of course there's more mana you're putting into the minions. I mean, plus three is pretty strong. Yes. That's that's like three three fifths of a Malibu. <laughs> exactly, it's sixty percent of a Malibu. Yeah. You have a lot of small damaging spells in... Yeah, you got Arcane Missiles. In Mage, of course. The arcane the, Explosion. The strongest one exactly is... Arcane Explosion is the uh, the one that does Arcane Explosion to three targets, yeah. you know? I mean, Arcane Explosion essentially turns into a Flame Strike with this. For one more mana. Yeah, I mean... That's not necessarily very bad. It's pretty good, actually. But I, don't, I don't appreciate that much. I, I don't see this too much with Burn. Because it's yeah, probably, probably, probably hard to set up a good turn with this and burn. It's it's gonna be compared to the uh, what's it called the four three elemental dude who gives you plus two. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The, uh, yeah, yeah that special. that that person, that guy, Ether ethereal something maybe. I don't think so. I don't play mage. We don't know that, but uh, we'll see. We'll see. I'm bad with names. <clears throat> You're bad with card names. That that's that's. A I'm also fact. bad with people names. Like generally. Yeah. All right. Let's get into paladin. We got. Desperate measures. One mana twin spell cat cast a random paladin secret. Seems bad at first sight because it's a random secret, but it's also it's two secrets. Yeah, exactly. So <laughs> twin spell adds value, and there isn't that many bad paladin secrets. The worst one is eye for an eye, and then sometimes it's the best one. I was about to say there's there's cases where it's good, mm -hmm. and your opponent has to play around all of them. All of them. Because that's the advantage of random secrets. Which you sometimes if you don't even know what it is. Well, you know can. what it is. You can look at it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you don't know about before. Yeah, then they can't possibly ever read. They can't it. predict what you will play. Mm -hmm. They can't predict based on your deck what you would not run at all, anyways. Yeah. So um, and we also make the secret trigger twice with resell. Yeah, there is definitely also <clears throat> a lot of secret value. Never surrender, of course, is is a high roll with this. I think noble sack is fine. All defense yeah, weapons is fine. It's always good. Those are always good secrets. Hidden wisdom. Mm -hmm. Probably the second worst one, but sometimes you want draw. Yeah. So we'll see if, it, if it's going to be versatile enough. We have another secret support later, but first we got called to adventure. Draw the lowest cost card from lowest cost minion from your deck. Give it plus two, plus two. Immortal prelate. Immortal prelate. Very likely. Um, that seems like. I mean, there is definitely ideas with like Argent Squire and and the like, where it's just like, okay, this minion. Is a lot better with extra stats yes. because it has the vine shield, shield specifically. Maybe something with wind fury, but, but at the end of good, the day, it's not really. At the end of the day, the best use is prelate. Prelate definitely because you don't you want those stats to be retained. So. Which then again mm. depends on the question yeah. of whether or not prelate paladin will ever become a thing. I hope it will. I, I feel like there's a lot of potential there with with undertake and all. So we'll have to look into that. But uh, mysterious blade, two mana, two three. If you control a secret, gain plus one attack. This is another power creep on Fiery War Axe. Um, well, the point is that Fiery War used to be two, which is why it was good. And yeah. then all of the weapons had the same know, stats, no, no, no. and the bonus were three. Exactly. And then it nerfed Fiery War This is very comparable to Hunter's Hatchet, except that it buffs attack. Yeah. And there's a lot of cards like this uh, over, over the years. I think it should be very possible for a paladin to be in control of a secret. Yeah, and, and I think that two mana, three, two, we've seen... Like, Blizzard thought, unconditionally, for Warriad was too strong. Yep. For Paladin, they can use it about as well. They don't have armor, which makes weapons slightly weaker because mm -hmm. they can't tank as much, but they also have healing, so... I guess for Warriad was too strong during, during the pirate days, specifically, when there was a lot of aggro going on. But yeah, I mean, 
this weapon seems good. Seems seems fine. I mean, the secret paladin tends to be a more aggressive deck, so if they uh... yeah, I don't think you necessarily want to run it outside of secret paladin. No, you don't want to run it without secret. But uh, in secret paladin, I feel like it's an auto include yeah. almost. Hench clan shade quill four mana four seven four the priest death rattle restore five health to the enemy hero. Um, obvious first comparison is chop a zombie child. The reason why zombie yeah. child worked is because it's an early drop. This mm -hmm. is not. It is overstated slightly. You might want to silence it if you're playing. If you go, if you're going to live that way. Yeah, you silence priest is something that's going to be attempted for a while. I'm not sure if it will succeed. Mm -hmm. It has been tried before. It's definitely an interesting idea. I don't think it's going to be a tier one. It's certainly not going to be a tier one deck. I don't think it's going to be a tier two deck. No, silence priest is not going to do it very well. It's it might end up being on the top of tier three, which is not necessarily where you want to yeah. be. But uh, but maybe maybe this will actually. This is one of those decks that might end up seeing tournament play if it has some good matchups against other tournament decks. If it has really good, yes, maybe. I'm, I'm looking for Henshin and Shade Quill to uh, definitely try it out in Combo Priest, though. Because the 4 mana, f the 4 7 stat line is very, very strong. Generally, in a deck where you are trying to kill your opponent in one turn, it doesn't mm -hmm. matter if you heal them. Exactly. Convincing Infiltrator, 5 mana 2 6 with Taunt and Death Rattle, destroy a random enemy minion. Uh, closest comparison is Spider Bomb. Closest comparison in Priest would be Obsidian statue, statue, which was significantly stronger. But this is good. It looks all right. I mean, in Control Priest, it needs to people need to kill it, and when they do, they sack one of their own guys. Yeah, with the high health, it's actually not that easy to kill. And we do have some degree of death rattle synergy mm -hmm. in Priest, not as much as we used to, but yes, there is gone. some with Shadowy Figure. This might end up working out. Well, we'll see. Uh, depends on what what direction the controlish priests are going. Really, unsleeping soul form a spell, silence a friendly minion, then summon a copy of it, and that will be the big enabler of that that deck. Yeah, I mean, for Hench Clan Shade Pool, for example, this already seems good. Yeah, because you're summoning obviously. a four seven, and you're <laughs> removing the downside from your other four seven. Correct. Uh, bonus point: this unfreezes. People forget that sometimes. So yeah, that, silence, silence, unfreezes. silence unfreezes. That's correct. Also, a bonus point: silence and voodoo dolls. You can it silence either end mean. of the voodoo doll connection. And that's it, correct. And it uh, breaks it. So there's a few small edge cases there. Silence does on voodoo doll. Is on voodoo doll from uh, Witchwood? Uh, I believe so. I wasn't even sure if it's from Witchwood or Crowballs. Um, but anyways, so there is a few cases where you want to silence your own minion either way. Four mana seems like a lot. But unless you have minions <laughs> that you specifically put in your deck to silence, this is bad. Yes. Four mana seems like a lot. We'll see. I don't I don't believe in Silence Priest, because <clears throat> it never really worked as a, as a strong deck. But people will give it a try. It, it can be really overwhelming in the early game, uh, comparable to an aggro deck, if you get the right draws. Yeah, if you really get it. Because but... turn two engine watcher silence? Fine. That's good. It's a four or five. It's chill with Yeti, sure. Yeah, but on, on turn two. On turn two. But how often do you get that? Not that much. 4 mana, Vendetta. We're getting into Rogue now. A spell which deals 4 damage to a minion and it costs 0 if you're holding a card from another class. Obviously, this doesn't seem that good outside of Steel Rogue. I don't think I have to tell that to anyone. Yes, and Steel or Burger Rogue doesn't seem a good thing anyway. But, if you can somehow have a card that isn't terrible, just to activate your Vendetta, is I it mean, worth it? Probably not. I mean, this is something, theoretically, you can just run this with, like, a Blink Fox. Mm -hmm. Yes. Which Blink Fox was an odd rogue. Of course, odd decks had to make some inclusions that were suboptimal just because <coughs> odd. Correct. But Blink Fox is decent value. Blink Fox is this would work. Um, That's fine. Hanshla Burglar, slightly less, but if you're playing a pirate deck, maybe. There is definitely some ideas where you can run this outside of a dedicated Burgle deck with some Burgle cards just. Burgle deck? No. Again, people are going to try it. It's not going to work. They're going to try it. It's not going to work. Mm, likely. I, I, which I'm disappointed mm. by because I really like the idea. It's, it's just, just too inconsistent. Too inconsistent. Too, too much randomness. But what seems pretty good is a Tag Nose Whisker. The legend 7 mana 6-6. Six, six, whenever you shuffle a card into your deck, add a copy to your hand. Tog Waggle Scheme. Yeah. Pogo Hopper. Pogo Hoppers. Or just what? Academic Espionage. Because yeah. epi academic espionage is now with an empty hand. It's draw ten mana cards, t draw ten cards that cost one, plus add them to your deck. Yes, that's insane. Obviously. Um, that is insane value. It's a bit specific. It requires a, it requires three cards, 
to set it up either the con or the prep to make it work for yeah. 10 mana that's a problem this specific combo having it just for that seems like it might not be consistent enough tag looks Damn but strong. tag definitely has Even a lot of a tag level scheme, right? Poco Harper, this. Yeah, that's what that's what I was thinking Talk as scheme, kind of the yeah. menus, because even if it's not ten Poco Hoppers, even if you're just getting five. Yeah, that's like, that's a lot of Poco Hoppers. Also, Poco Hoppers are two mana, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, they're cheap. Which means Talk, you can play one. Poco Hopper scheme also works as one turn thing. Yeah. And you probably in that deck also have lab recruiters and the second scheme okay. and more Poco Hoppers. I mean, you're gonna have all the pogo hoppers. Yeah, there's gonna be a lot of hoppers. We're gonna try this out. So I feel like we're gonna try if this out. So, sticks around. That can get yeah, crazy. Yeah, if he sticks around, we got we got uh, get us an auctioneer with jade idols in hand, sort of situation. Definitely. Yeah, some def more. Definitely crazy. So, um, underbelly fence, two mana, two three battle cry. If you're holding a card from another class, gain plus one plus one rush. Similar with Vendetta, I guess. Yeah, I'd say a similar effect. I don't think you you're gonna run this. I think this one isn't one that you would not want to run just with a Blink Fox. Because no, because it doesn't curve around. well either. Uh, the problem is we don't really have a good one mana burger right now. We have Pilfer. That's horrible. Yeah. Uh, we don't have Hallucination anymore. We don't have Swash uh, Burger. So we have Stolen Steel. We yeah yeah, <laughs> but first of all. Eh? And second of all, you want the weapon, you want uh, yeah. the Cutlass. Uh, Underbelly Fence in a Burger Rock deck seems like an auto include. River Crocolis with an upside, not sure if it's gonna. Somewhat easy to trigger upside in the dedicated deck, Yeah. relatively unlikely outside of it. So, Correct. yeah. 4 mana, 4 2 weapon, Waggle Pick, I like the name of that one. It belongs to some Kobo probably. Death Rattle, return a random friendly minion to your hand, it costs 2 less, so Death Rattle Shadows deck. Yes, um... If you can time it right, not too bad. True Silver Champion, different upside, I guess, if you can time it right. Uh, so, yes, the idea is to not play this in a deck where it's not an upside. Um, yeah, you can play with the Poker Hoppers, you can play with the... You can play with the Todd Wagon, the High Spare. Yeah, and the nice thing about timing it right is that it's really easy for Rogue to time their weapon destruction. Yeah. Because, because they, they can just hero power. Anytime. Exactly. Oh, that would be a six mana combo. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm not saying it's categorically a good thing. But it's possible. But if you have something big on the board, you want to shadow step, yes. and it's the only thing on your board, and you have a two health waggle pick, hit something, hero power. That's what made Kingsbane work in, as a fatigue strategy. Daring escape, one mana spell, return all friendly minions to your hand. So mass shadow step, no discount, but uh, again, if you got that battle cry value. Eh? I, I'm not sure. The thing is... I mean, hopper, hopper, hopper this, right? Yeah, hopper, but at, at, that point, at that point where you're playing three hoppers in one turn, the <laughs> hoppers are good enough so you don't have to do this. But they could be a lot better, though. I See, I don't think it's worth it most of the time with the hoppers. Probably not. Probably not, that's true. But we'll, It's just, you know... We'll, we'll see how this works. Although, we'll I have, I must say, I have already built the shell of a hopper deck. Alright, fair <laughs> enough. Fair enough. We'll, we'll, we can we go and get some hopper stuff going. Uh, works with Edwin, if you want that. All the, the uh, combo and yeah. stuff. Uh, going into Shaman, and we have some Murloc support. Scar Gill is a 4 mana 4 4 that makes your Murlocs, is a Murloc too, that makes all your Murlocs cost 1. Okay, first thing to note when talking about Shaman Murloc support, I don't think we really touched too much on this last time, but the Sludge Slurper, which is arguably the best lackey generator, is also a it's, Murloc. It's a Murloc, yeah. Which I, I think we said, and we said it wasn't going to be that relevant. Yeah. Now it all of a sudden becomes more relevant. Not with Skuggle specifically. But because of more Murloc push, right? Uh, because he makes it cost the same thing yeah. it always does. Uh, but yeah, Mur Murlocs and Shaman don't matter again. So we'll see if that's gonna ever establish itself. There's no more quests, which is notable. Uh, quest is horrible in actually, <laughs> ironically enough, because you can't play a one drop Murloc, which is what you would almost always want to do on turn one. Well, you can't play when you have to play the quest on one. You can play the quest in like three or four and still get it done. Somehow. Yeah, but the, but it it definitely is gone and you don't get that late game the, push. The quest was a weird um thing, and but talking about late game push for Murlocs, I think uh, the underbelly angler two mana two three Murloc. After you play a Murloc, add a random Murloc to your hand. Yeah, that that's a value. Is how you get a lot of Murlocs, at in one turn that's basically. Um, this plus notably it's playing out summon, so it doesn't work with uh, just yes whatever right. But 
generally, you don't summon Murlocs from spells, you summon Murlocs from other Murlocs, but that's fine, you're still getting yeah, one card usually. from it. Um, so, this plus Scargill is 6 mana, which is a lot, but it also means no, you play, play, play Scargill four. first, 5. Right, 5. And then, if you play, you can play 5 more Murlocs, which first of all fills up your board exactly. Yeah, you can play War Leader, and then they all. And it doesn't matter how much they cost. It's good, good stuff. Which is nice because uh, I'm not sure if it's still in standard. There is a six mana Murloc that deals damage to all non Murlocs. I, well, I don't think. It I is. think that's a wild card. I don't think it is. That's like the kind of stuff that would fuck you up if you yeah. just play under a belly angler without reductions. <clears throat> yes. Expensive Murlocs. Well, we'll see. We'll see if it becomes relevant. Soul of the Morlock is a spell <clears throat> that someone supports it. Give your minions a death rattle summon a 1-1 one, one Morlock. This is half <laughs> Soul of the Forest. Yes. Half the stats, half the cost. Yeah. But I guess when you have a board full of Morlocks, it's good value. So the idea of this is the same idea as with Soul of the Forest. This deck goes wide. The Morlock deck. Generally, that's how it works. Mm -hmm. But your boards are really easily cleared with like 2-3 to three manage, uh, damage. AoEs, which are very common. Now you're getting at least some replacement. Yeah. The replacement here is weaker, but it can also more easily be buffed. So, again, the comparison with Soul of the Makes Force, board I sticky. think this stacks favorably. Also because it can more easily be played on the same turn with something because it's cheaper. Yeah, and you could just drop a War Leader in there and you still have low to of damage. Exactly, with you, the, with all the you have a, you have like five or six Murlocs. I mean, there's already basically value from three, yeah, kind the, of. Yeah, three to four is, seems where it becomes, um, becomes all right. And then you play a War Leader, and all of a sudden you're dealing incredible amounts of damage. And you need, like, you require two board clears. War Leader, Bloodlust, and win, you know, kind exactly. of thing. We'll see. Mutate, a zero mana spell to transform a friendly minion into a random one that costs one more. It's like unstable evolution, but it's stable. It's stable evolution. Yes, it's not. It's one mana less. It doesn't have echo. It's uh, interesting enough. Uh, the first comparison that I've heard was it's like evolution, but on one dude, which is well, yes, uh, no shit. Right? That's I think unstable is a better comparison. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely correctly costed. I yeah, think I'd want this would be way too weak. I don't think anyone would play this if this cost mana. No, obviously not. Uh, as a zero mana card, this is. Interesting. I'm not sure if anyone's gonna play it anyway. Though. I feel like the main use for this is with Hagatha. With which Hagatha? Theoretically both. Yeah. But I was I was talking about the hero. Yeah. You play a minion, you get a random shaman spell. It's mutate. Your minion is understand it. It had a good battle yeah, try. Sure, you quite. mutate right away. Exactly. Sure. I feel like that's when it comes up it's, more it's, than yeah, anything it's, else. It's a season for the for the pool, right? Now, granted, it works well with Swamp Queen Hagatha. Mm -hmm. Because 8 drops are really good in general, it's one of the better pools to draw from, and Swamp Queen Hagatha herself is severely understated. That's true. So if you want, you can use it with that, but I don't think it's worth running a mutate just before Hagatha. We'll see. Witch's Brew, 2 mana spell, restore 4 health. Echo. It's Echo. It has Echo, the card has Echo. This card has Echo. No matter what it reads, this card has Echo, people. Blizzard. I want everyone to only say Echo. It doesn't, we need to protest this bullshit. Blizzard, either don't reuse old mechanics, or just use the keywords. Exactly. Yeah, don't bring it back up and then, and then go with the convoluted word. No, not this wishy-washy bullshit. Yeah, this is Echo, alright? This like, is Echo, for Christ's sake. Oh, sense. Using old keywords is confusing to new players. No, it's Guess not. what it does if there's two versions of the yeah, exact same effect. Exactly. That's way, way worse. They were like, okay, this, but there's Echo. What does Echo do? Wait, is that the same effect? That's so weird. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because <laughs> I've, I've literally seen a post on Reddit where someone was like, or, no, or was it on our Discord, actually? Might have been, Might on, have actually been on Discord. Uh, where someone, <clears throat> someone asked, uh, is, 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 is this like twin spells? Is this like yeah, Echo? Right, that was, it, was on yeah, Discord. On Discord right. yeah. Like, how does this work? It's Echo. <laughs> Just put the word Echo on the card and everyone right. knows how it works. Right. And the people that don't, they'll read the tooltip for Echo, and which go. has the exact same explanation <laughs> yep. as the card currently has. This has the exact same wording as Unstable Evolution. If this was a physical card game, this just might be understandable. Because you don't want to yeah. always print the explanation for the yeah, yeah, yeah. keywords. But it isn't! No. Nope. And you have tooltips. <laughs> exactly. Use, Use Echo. them. Use Echo for Christ's sake. Let's get into Warlock. We have um, a 4 mana 2-2, two, two, not Millhouse. That's his tag. It's not a Millhouse. 
uh, Eager Underling, Death Rattle, uh, give two random minions, plus two, plus two. So I've oh. seen I've seen Fungal Mancer comparison, but it's low, but it's lots lower. Millhouse is a two mana four four. Yeah, I know that was intentional. I know I've seen that. I've seen it on Reddit. It's intentional. They were they were trying. To I literally work. just came was up this, with was this was this revealed on April first by any chance? It's March thirtieth. Oh, that's close enough. Nine. That's close enough. At nine a.m. 9 a.m. Uh, okay, CST. fair enough. That's, that's not it's not that not that early. Not that. Early. And also, sure. there's a day in between. Would have done. Yeah. the 31st. Would have done better on April. 1st. Yes. So, either way, I don't think it's that good because it's too slow. Also, uh, another thing for Blizzard, and this one's a positive note. I'm glad they didn't reveal a Joe card that is fake kind of thing. Yeah. That's that's just a stupid idea. Don't yeah. do it. I, April Fools always I always hate it basically, but I I, yeah, this I like one, the ones that are clever because they're just funny and yeah, obviously yeah, yeah, fake. Right, right. Yeah, no. The ones that might be real? No, yeah, no, don't no, do no. that. We have Plot, Twist, two mana spell, shuffle your hand into your deck and draw that many cards. Mechathun. Or just Fellord. Yeah, but Mechathun, you know. It Yes, but Fellord is... Have, guess, have you seen how it, wor how it works? Uh, yes, I've seen the Mechathun and I want to try it out. Because I have the Dorian and I also have the Mechathun. I, I only have Dorian, but uh, it's it's crazy. I, I do want to try it. So the idea I is, definitely do. you have five cards in your hand... Uh, Mechathun, obviously, and the other ones will come up when I explain this. Yeah. You play Dorian, you play tw Plot Twist, your deck is obviously empty. Yeah. Um, you redraw the same cards, Dorian summons the one more Mechathun, you Spirit Bomb the Dorian. Correct. And then you Shriek. You shriek and it kill discards it. the Mechathun, which is the only other card yeah. in the hand, and, and kills the both of the minions. Correct. I love it so much. It, it's also, it's 10 mana, 10 mana combo. Even more importantly, besides Mechathun, Dorian, and maybe Plot Twist, all of these cards can very reasonably r be ran in a regular control world. Exactly, it's not dead cards. So, you like have, Cataclysm was, for example. Yeah, you have. I think you have overall less dead cards than you mm -hmm. have in uh, the old version because you also had to run two Galvanizers. Yeah, you can play you this in a, in a control deck. So you just play Control Warlock with this as a win condition. Not saying that, 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 that Control Warlock necessarily still exists. Yeah, because. The Gul'dan Swing turn is gone, but instead you have an endgame combo now. It, it, it yeah. kind of... You also don't me. have Void Lords, so you gotta get to the point of surviving there, but it's an idea, and we'll try it out. Aranzi Broodmother, 6 mana, 4, 6 demon with taunt, and whenever you draw this, restore 4 health. I think this one was revealed on April 1st. Correct, and this was revealed and in was re uh, Portuguese. And I was kind of hoping for this to be a joke. But it's real. Um, this seems like a really bad car. Eh, it doesn't, I don't, I don't like it that much either. It's, it means it's understated. The four health doesn't matter that much. Well, maybe, maybe the there's time. like a way to draw this a bunch. Uh, I mean, plot twist, I guess. Mm. But it's like that's so, such no. a small use for it, Not and it's really right. so understated. You don't. You don't get a you choose out of playing it unless there is like you. unless there is a way that we are missing to for warlock to go infinite with that stuff and you just keep healing yourself. I don't like it either. We have imp I mean there is infinite plot twisting with Alec. That's a thing. Correct. We have Inferno, three mana spell. Give your demons plus one attack. Deal one damage to all enemy minions. This isn't bad. There's a few combos which make this better. Um, of course, reform scheme with this because you get a lot of demons yeah. on the board. I think this might be, on the one hand, decent for Zoo for the plus one attack. Oh, definitely in the mirror would be great. On the, I was about to say, on the other hand, in a lot of matchups, Zoo doesn't care about dealing one damage to all enemy minions. Mm, yeah, that's correct. Because Odd Paladin really isn't around anymore. Yeah, and for control, just the one damage is a bit lackluster, yeah. and the plus one doesn't help much. I don't, I don't see it doing much. The, the problem is that the two halves of the card don't work well together. Yes. So if those <clears throat> both individually had been... Honestly, Someone one five. and a half mana cards, yeah, Exactly, they might be fine. Yeah, but next thing we have a, a pun on Jumbo Shrimp. We got Jumbo Imp, 10 mana, 8, 8. And it costs one less whenever a friendly demon dies. Well, this is in your hand. This is a lot, lot, lot worse of a Corridor Creeper. I don't think it's good at all. I think Zoo might be able to make this work, is the <clears> thing. Hmm, <throat> maybe. Because in Zoo, you... Maybe with Rafal Scheme. You, because you do have a lot of refill, you, you end up... In certain matchups, might end up trading a lot. Yeah. And then you all of a sudden have a big threat. <laughs> That's correct. But uh, will it beat out Sea Giant? Not sure. Darkest Humors. Darkest, darkest hour. hour. Oh, Darkest Humor. I'm sorry, that's just me. Literally. Darkest Hour. Destroy all friendly minions for each one. Summon a random minion from your deck. Six mana Warlock spell. 
this is weird because it wants small minions on the board but big ones in your deck. Yeah. The only idea on how you would build this is by getting the small minions exclusively through spells. I guess. Which would specifically, I think in Warlock right now, be Rufam Scheme. And also, then, Recruit. Uh, yes. Use Recruit. Um, in this in this case, it's not even as big of a deal, but... Uh, Still Recruit. But yeah, but the idea here is, the only somewhat sensible application I can see is in a big Warlock, which a is already a weird idea. Yeah. As a 9 mana combo with a card that you would have had to have in your hand for at least 4 turns to be somewhat valid? Yes. That's really bad. Yeah, it doesn't look that And good. anything anything else is just random hoping to get some degree of death rattle value like, yeah. off it and stuff, but that's no. I feel like uh, if we're going to make this happen, there needs to be some combo behind this. Otherwise, it seems to be inconsistent. Now, I'm going to say this. Within the next full two years of new cars coming there, out. Oh yeah, that might be something. There sure. might be some crazy combo with Darkest Hour. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying that this card is gonna be trash for the entire uh, time yeah, it's out. Entire period, right? Because exactly those kinds of effects have the mm -hmm. chance for uh, to be abused. Yeah, exactly. That being said, not right now. I don't think it. I don't think so. It doesn't, doesn't really look like it. Let's get into Warrior. We have Dimensional Ripper. 10 mana spell. Summon two copies of a minion in your deck. Uh, same problem. Uh, you have to build your deck around yeah. this for and it this to be is, good, and you too, can't. This is too expensive. This just is way too expensive. Because you would have to have, basically at this point, you'd have to have two 8 plus drops in your deck at the time that specifically get targeted. And even then... Or one. And even yeah. then, if it hits, you just put, like, you put two, two minions, okay. They That's have, all you They do. would have to have Rush or Taunt to be kind of worth it. Yeah, or like Grom, or right? Um, so, oh, I, see I don't like it. No, this is not good. The Boom Reaver, 10 mana legendary. 7-9 uh, Battlecry, summon a copy of a minion in your deck. Not from your deck, in your deck. Wording, recruit, give it Rush. It's a copy, it's not recruit. Right, it's not, it's not recruit, but in your deck, not from your deck, whatever. Give it Rush. So, what do we do this with? Also, uh, first of all, this is a mech, so this mm. is definitely way better than Dimensional Ripper. Yes. Way that's, better. That's true. It's, it's, it has a body to it. Um, it has a body. If you have Dr. Boom at Genius, it itself also has Rush. Correct, and that's good. Um, I mean, just getting it from Delivery Tron or Omega Assembly might be good. Mm -hmm. um, it is some degree of value with the minion that you pull. Again, you're not going to build a big warrior, like a Recruit Warrior type thing. Yep. I don't, I don't see it, so... That means that whatever you're getting is not that strong. Now, assuming you're playing this in a mech deck with Boom, uh, this is a 7-9 rush, basically. That's fine. How much is that worth? Maybe 8 mana? Mm -hmm. Which means if you're getting a decent 2-drop pool, that might be worth it, Maybe. but... I, I can see this being played in Control Warrior. with Yeah, again... Doesn't have, look hopeless. You it have to have has. the right deck for it, and I think a mech deck... That curves out nicely might end up using this as a have control deck. Too. So sweeping strikes, and uh, that's one that we've been waiting for a long time. Two mana, give a minion quote also damages minions next to him ever it attacks. First of all, that needs cleave. a keyword. Cleave, whatever. Cl cleave is the card, right? The cleave, uh, the, yeah, the card right. that does that. But give it a keyword for Christ's um, sake. But yeah, no, they're, they've like been reach doing or this whatever. more and more. Yeah, Cave Hydra. I think Cave Hydra might have uh, been the first one too. Shadow Morn. Yeah, Shadow Morn does it. Yeah. Uh, Give it a keyword if you're gonna keep printing it. Especially with this. Yeah. Like this monstrosity of a card. This looks pretty damn nice. Give a minion, and then one more word. Mm -hmm. Like it's yeah. so, could have been a minion really reach. tough pack card. Give it reach. That's that's not that much. Yeah. It's five letters. I just made it up. But if it happens, that yeah. would be cool. It doesn't but, uh, yeah. matter much what you call it as long as it relates to what it does, kind of. Exactly. But yeah, you're gonna put this on uh, Akali the Rhino and uh, s draw three rush minions yes. and give all of them plus five plus five. Uh, that Best is case. what I seen too. The idea is putting an overkill minion is really good. Yeah. But also just in general, just put it on a big minion and clear boards like it's nobody's business. Exactly. It looks decent. Definitely good value. Also, makes you think about hiding your stuff behind small taunts. Like small attack yeah. taunts. Yeah, exactly. Because the thing doesn't take any damage to kill three things anyways. Correct. Vicious Scrap Hound. Two mana, two two mech. 
Whenever his minion deals damage, gain that much armor. Now we've seen that exact oh, same armor steel. Nice. We've seen that exact same effect on a Rothy Weaponsmith in not a Rothy Ali Ali Armorsmith in the Gadget Dance set. But that was a uh, that was a two seven with taunt. And this is a two two. Uh, this again one point understated, which is usually for a good effect justifiable. Mm -hmm. You have armor synergies in Warrior. You have mech synergies in Warrior. And under Boom, it has Rush, yeah. which means that it can definitely proc once. Also, it works well with stuff like Zilliax with all the magnetized. Yeah. Give it puts Again, armor, I'll put sweeping strikes on it, gain 15, why not? If this wasn't a mech, this might not be good. Yeah, but, but the, it mech, is. Yeah, the mech, the magnetic makes this a lot more valuable. Until the Boomsday rotates, mechs are still going to be really strong. Yes, especially, specifically in Warrior. With Boom and with all yeah, the stuff. Yeah, of, of course, with mm -hmm. the classes that get synergies for them, in particular yeah. Warrior, which got. Crazy good synergy with Warrior uh, looking uh, very versatile. Now we're gonna have a lot, a lot of neutral cards. That we're gonna because we have already taken so long. We're gonna go through these a little bit faster, just a, a tiny little bit because it's just a majority of the whole set. But um, so, yeah, we're gonna still talk about the interesting ones. But yes, we got big, big bad Archmage. Ten mana, six six. At the end of your turn, summon a random six cost minion. Mm. Kind of a bad pool, very understated, not that good. Potentially in Arena, it's fine. Archmage Vargoth of Vargoth, and that's the one that we get for free, or so I've heard. I've heard that too. Allegedly, this is the one that everyone's supposed to get, and at, and at the end of your turn, it casts a spell that you've cast this turn. This, this like, screams for a lot of combos. You can play this, and then, um, if you have, for example, Valid Malagos on the board, play one Mind Blast. Yeah, I mean, in a Gallery Priest type deck, this would work, of course. Gallery Priest plus Mind Blast is tough uh, because it's 11 mana for the Gallery. Yeah. Doesn't also uh, work with Mass Resurrection because you're missing one mana, but Mass Resurrection bring the Valon Malagos and this, and then Coin Mind Blast. There is some ideas for sure. Uh, we got, I'm gonna see how this is abused. This is also just nice for value. I don't hate yep. it with Animal Companion. Yeah, even that. Even that looks looks fine, so it seems versatile. It's very versatile, exactly. Archivist. Eliciana, 8 mana, 7-7, seven, seven. legendary, battle cry, discover 5 cards, replace your deck with 2 copies of each. Apparently discovering a whole new deck took too long. Oh, huh, yeah. That was actually stated from a, from a developer. Really? Like that was that was yeah. part of the original design, or at least an oh. earlier design, <coughs> of redrafting an entire 30 card deck. Okay, yeah, fair enough. That takes a long, long time. I, I can, I don't understand uh, that. But this is, this is fair enough. You play this when you hit Fatigue and you got 10 more cards. Exactly. In a really hard control deck <coughs> against Fatigue, this is nice. It's a backup to Chef Nomi for you. Yeah, I was about to say, Myra's into Chef Nomi to this. Yeah. It's possible. <coughs> there, there is ideas here. And also interesting to note that Discover means it's only your class in neutral. Correct. Which means that if you still have some cards in your hand or on your board, you're more likely to have synergies because class cards because you, tend yeah. to synergize with and each other can, better than pick. outside. And you get to select what you want. Exactly. So, Hedge Clan Hag, 4 mana 3 through Battle Cry, summon 2 1 1 amalgams with all minion types. That's like the Nightmare Amalgam, they have all the synergies. I really <laughs> like this card. I thought you would like this card. It It's great. Uh, I'm not so sure. It has overall decent stats. It I fr At first, I thought about it with beasts. Then they showed it off with demons. They yeah. sh they showed it off with murlocs. It can be used with mechs. It works with stuff. It works yeah. with everything yeah. except dragons because dragons don't synergize on board. But Correct. Well, we'll see. This works with a lot of things, and in arena, for example, it's still good without synergies. It's yeah, it's, it's still fine. Exotic mount seller seven mana five eight. Whenever you cast a spell, summon a random three cost beast. Very specific. I don't hate this with animal companion. <laughs> Yeah. I feel like that should be the theme of the episode. Yeah, kind of play Animal Companion with this uh, and you get two three cost beasts. But yeah, I mean, in Hunter, mm. this is definitely what you're kind of looking at for beasts. Yeah. But also just in the small spell mage, this might also work. If you can find a class where there's only one, maybe one or two very, very good three mana beasts. Sure. Also, uh, mm. three mana beasts are pretty good. Uh, this is not class based. Yeah. So um, it can get anything. I think the average stats were 2.8 attack and 3.2 health or something. That's fine. Uh, that's t completely fine. Low mm -hmm. roll is Iron Big Owl, high roll is Maklo. Yes, Maklo definitely. There you go. Definitely, definitely. Uh, Barista Lynchin, 5 mana, 4, 5. Battlecry, add a copy of each of your other Battlecry minions to your hand. Pogo Hoppers. Shutter Walk. Pogo Hoppers. Shutter Walk. <laughs> Shutter Hopper. Pogo Walk. Oh god. Pogo Walk. Rogue. 
Pogo Rogue versus Shaman with Blink Foxes into yes, Shatterwalk. Yes, into Shatterwalk. Pogo can, Walk. Recast the million uh, uh, Pogo Hopper battle cries. If like someone and if someone can get that on film, we will and send it to us. We'll upload it to our channel. Definitely. Potion Vendor. One mana, one one battle cry. Restore two health to our friendly minions. Looks all right. Um, Maybe better than Boisterous Bard. Would be Maybe good not, in Healing Zoo, not. but Healing Zoo loses all its cards. Yeah. Um, Dalaran Librarian, yeah. two mana, two three, silence adjacent minions would be in that that priest, that silence priest. It if, has River Crocolus sets, which are always nice. If you if you want to, doesn't look very strong though. Arcane Watcher, three mana, five six, can't attack unless you have spell damage. Again, there's a lot of spell damage in this expansion, and there is a lot of silence. This is something that you would want to silence. Sold your fortune, four mana, five six. Whenever this minion attacks, give your opponent a coin. Potentially a little bit better than Hoarding Dragon. That's a pretty hefty downside if it doesn't get removed fast is the problem. But it's good stats. In the yeah. tempo deck. Mm-hmm. Proud Defender. Four mana. Two six taunt. And it has plus two attack while you have no other minions. This screams Tar Creeper at me. This is a better Tar Creeper in a, in a lot of situations. Uh, in some of yeah, in a lot of situations it's not. So maybe not quite as good. It costs one more, but we'll see. Mana Reservoir. Two mana. Zero six elemental with spell damage plus one. Zero attack minions. Uh, mm. combo priest? Mm. No. Like in no. like inner fire demand spirit kind of stuff. I think there's better stuff. Uh, sure. Uh, that's. I'm not seeing it. An idea for a cheap one there. Uh, mm. spell is in the expansion. It's an elemental. It's okay, I guess. I don't like it. Magic carpet three mana one six. After you play a one cost minion, give it plus one attack and rush. Would have worked very well in the hunter quest. Yes, as would have the one hundred yep. card that we talked about, the proxy right. of one drops. This maybe, 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 maybe. If Bon Zombie ever became a thing in Priest, Bon Zombie and uh, Talanji. Oh, I don't think it will. I don't think that it will. That would be an interesting idea. Yeah. Um, if it's at <clears throat> if it's at summon instead of play, this would work really yeah. well with the farm scheme. Correct. I I don't see it. Mad Summoner, 6 mana, 4 for Balakrai, fill each player's board with 1-1 one, one imps. It fits with the uh, implosion thing, yeah. it's not called implosion, it's in fire or something? Inferno. Inferno, exactly. Ah, them, they're impons. Yeah, the impons. Um, because it buffs your entire board then, and it kills the opposing imps, but otherwise it's... Un- Unless you have one of those very specific yeah. combos. Combo disruption or something. It's pretty bad, yeah. it, it does... Uh, kind of harm resurrect pools and yeah, stuff like that definitely otherwise this, i mean this kills meh. big this kills big priest and wild for sure and also uh Google kills is an overstatement because yeah, especially spellstone doesn't resemble copies so you still only get one um, well still though not bad sun reaver wait does it though it's different imps it's not that the same imp died several times no no it, it is <laughs> specifically different cards all right all right, I'll I'll be curious about that. Uh, Sun Reaver War Mage, five mana, four four battle cry. If you're holding a spell that costs five or more, deal four damage. Looks all right. The one thing I can think of is big spell mage, which I'm not sure how well it's gonna yeah. go around because it doesn't didn't get any other support really. Definitely strictly control card. Two mana, two three. Sun Reaver Spy, battle cry. If you're secret game plus one plus one. Again, another slightly better of Crocolisk. Potentially the secret pally, we'll see how it goes. Safeguard yeah. is a six mana, four five with taunt and death rattle summon a zero five vault safe with taunt. This this is a very can conservative be crazy card. Crazy with nine lives. Yeah. It's also very defensive and it's a mech. It is a mech, so, so it can be put in me- mech next. I feel like that's all you need to know assuming, about this card. Assuming the vault safe will also have um, it is a mech, mostly yes. mech. So yeah. Looks uh, looks interesting. Toxi- Toxfin. One mana, one, two. Murloc with Battlecry. Give a friendly Murloc poisonous. This could be running the Shaman one. Uh, this is nice trade. because for Murlocs, usually you would have to. Uh, if there was a big taunt, you'd have to give all of your buffs to one Murloc and then yeah. sack it. And this just allows you to sack one of the one ones that, one. that you inevitably end up getting. Next, we have Arcane Servant. This looks like the April Fools. Two mana, two, three. Yeah, you heard me. Two mana, two, three. Elemental. Elemental. That's that. This is River Crocolis, but worse. They're trying to refill elementals after Angoro left. They're trying to pull my leg. That's but, terrible. But there isn't really any elemental synergies left. Or barely there any. There is nothing left. So, 
What I is don't that? Why they're overprinting Elemental just, so hard? Just go, like, take the extra step and make it a three-three already. For Christ's sake, this is nothing. Five mana, two seven uh, as a right Elemental after the start of your turn at gain. The turn, at the start of yeah. your turn gain, uh, spell damage plus two. Left unattended, not too bad. Uh, yeah, but Very when will it? Right? Yeah, not not a lot. Next we have Burly Shovel Fist, nine mana, nine nine. Rush. If this can get cheated out somehow, this is, a, this is an incredible card. Yeah, I mean, this is generally an okay card. I mean... Looks pretty good in Arena, too. Yeah. <laughs> I like it a lot. I feel like it's the epitome of strong in Arena. Yeah. Um, maybe good in the right decks if you really need a lot of minion-based removal. Maybe. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Cheated out somehow. Looks pretty good. Delaran Crusader. 5 mana, 5-4 five, with Divine Shield. Hey, this is another Arena card. Eh, maybe. Maybe not even that. It'd be better if that if had Tom. Then I could compare it to Sunwalker. Right now, not very good. Eccentric Scribe, six mana, six four death rattle, summon four one one, vengeful scrolls. So value, yes, but a six four for six, not really what you want to play at all. Mm, yeah, there. I, I was gonna say maybe a token deck, <clears throat> but it's a death rattle, so it's not even good for that really. Yeah. Faceless Razor, three mana, five one, battle cry, copy a friendly minion's health. Hey, the best Rager we've ever had. Yeah, this is because the best it offsets the one yeah. weakness of Ragers. Low health. Um, in the right deck, this is good. Yeah, if you just have like an eight, man, an eight, eight health, this is a great card. Obviously, the reason why this card isn't as incredibly strong as you might think is because you can't really play it well on three. Yeah, also doesn't really have taunt or anything else to make the uh, the health extra especially good, but. I mean, the, it could the, be a good value. The health is to keep the, your five attack minion alive. I think in somewhat board centric slower decks, this is a good card. Yeah, it looks fine. Flight Master, three mana, three four battle cry. Summon a two two Griffon for each player. Is that a beast? That should be a beast. I haven't actually seen the Griffon tokens. Um, I'm gonna assume they're beasts. Okay, I mean vanilla stats. Summons two twos. Looks if fine. they are beasts, that means that beast synergies, and of course. With the stuff that summons cards for opponents, always the idea if if you can deal with it well, it might be an advantage for you in this case. Yeah. It is if you're gonna have a one sided board clear, might as well play Griffin Master first if you have the mana. It's actually also a good arena card. Yeah, and you must again, just Hunter might like it. Yes. Hands Clan Sneak 3 mana 3-3 three, three with stealth. Nothing special whatsoever. Heroic Innkeeper. Not the real innkeeper, but the heroic innkeeper. 8 mana 4-4. Four, four. Taught, battle cry, gain plus two, plus two for each other friendly minion. <clears throat> Frostwolf Warlord with Taunt. More mm, expensive. Yes. More expensive means you can't <clears throat> really set it up on the turn you play it. Yeah. Maybe like an option for like a token or zoo style deck. Mm. But you have mm. to have at least two minions on the board. Yeah. At the absolute minimum to make this a decent card. Because yeah. then it's just Ancient, Pro Ancient Protector I think it's called. I always uh, get the ancient mixed it's up. It's Iron Bark Protector. It's Iron Bark Protector. I always get, I always get but, all of uh, the fucking trees. Yeah. Tree and art. I always get those. Tree or oh, tree and art cards. We need tree and art as a keyword already. But yeah, uh, will it defeat Sea Giant? Uh, I don't know. Portal Keeper, four mana, five two. Battle cry, shuffle three portals into your deck. When drawn, summon a two two demon with rush. Too slow. Demon synergies, no. but slow. Mm, no, five two. Way I too mean, slow. this. Um, you would want to do this. I mean. There is a lot of cards that Warlock's been getting, and I know this isn't a Warlock card, but let's face it, it's a Warlock card. Yeah, it's essentially. Yes. Um, they want to make use of shuffling your hand into a deck and redrawing, mm -hmm. because it's a lot of draw at once. You can ca trigger all of the cast when drawn, and the fucking heal four when drawn if you're really feeling yeah. it. You need to summon the tutors out spells, and... Um, but outside of that, it's like... Huh? No, stats are bad. Portal over... What? What does that mean? Portal Overfiend. Overfiend. Right. Battle Cry Shuffle 3 portals into your deck when drawn, summon a 2 2 Demon with Rush. Same, same idea. Right? It's the exact same minion for 2 extra mana, it gets 4 extra health, which is basically linear scaling, but it's more survivable, yeah. so it's slightly better. Yeah, I like it a little bit better. Recurring Villain, 5 mana, 3 6. Death Rattle if this minion has 4 more attack resummon it, so you want to buff it. Naturally, uh, resummon means it get, gets its mana stats back, so. It's not as crazy as you might no, think. It doesn't retain. Um, I'm not sure 
how good is that? I don't think it's that good. Nah, probably too situational. Spellbook Binder, 2 mana, 3-2 Battlecry if you have spell damage, draw a card. Bluff and Raptor. Fair enough, but better Bluff and Raptor. Um, if a spell, if the spell damage hunter uh, arises, then this replaces the uh, Crackling Razor mob. But yeah, not too sure. Uh, seven mana Tunnel Blaster, three seven with Taunt, Death Rattle, deal three damage to all minions. Very controlish card. Very strong control. Not not necessarily strong, but uh, yeah, reminds me of strictly the Abomination. Yeah, because more balanced stat. Yeah. Um, or less balanced than actually. More balanced in terms of defense. Yeah, I, I guess this is okay in a defensive control deck that is not that board heavy. Yeah, exceptionally susceptible to silence, but uh, it can it, it definitely can buy your time. Underbelly Ooze, 7 mana, 3 5. After his minion survives damage, summon a copy of it. Grim Patron. Grim Patron. But it's way more expensive and even more understated. Yeah. Which means it's harder to exploit. Nope, not gonna happen. It is still the Grim Patron, but again, it, it's yeah. so expensive that try getting more than really two or three of those on the board at a time. Nope. And then there's still only three <clears throat> attacks, so unless you can somehow spam them and then. Nope. Like, it's like nope. this top, like Hagatha scheme nope. a few times nope. and then Bloodlust. Nope, nope, nope. nope. To Terrible. get like a 10 turn lethal? It's like, what? Nope, it's weak pack filler, doesn't Exactly, happen. right? Violet Spell Sword. 4 mana, 1 6. Battle Cry gain plus 1 attack for each spell in your hand. Spell in hand. Has not done a lot so far. No I, reason to assume that this will. I mean, in a spell heavy deck, maybe? But I feel like a lot of these now are just the, the final ones pack full of neutrals that they add in. As is Violet yeah, I mean, Warden as well. Everything past um past Toxfin, I believe, it wasn't even on the reveal stream, they just revealed yeah. later. Um the Violet Warden taunt spell damage plus one, six mana four seven, I believe. Uh how what is the what is the uh, stat line for Archmage again? Is it the seven? The exact mana? same one, he just doesn't have taunt. Is it plus one as well? Yeah. I, so it's better Archmage? It's, it's better Archmage. Archmage is terrible. That it's taunt, Archmage with Taunt. Yeah, Taunt doesn't do it. Um, it doesn't make it I any mean, better. You have a high health minion, which you want for Taunt, but it's still too mm -hmm. weak. Yeah, no. Will win Tempest, though, the final interesting one. Uh, 8 mana, 6, 6 elemental. Your minions with Wind Fury have Mega Wind Fury. Yeah. Hmm. But you have, like, Dust Devils and the card Wind Fury. That's also, by the way, that's the one used, really. You, yeah, yeah, you want to play Wind Fury on some big. You want to play you, this and have something on the board and then play Wind yeah, Fury. Yeah, this plus Wind Fury is a 10 mana combo. Yeah. Have something with high attack on the board and then deal four times whatever that has as attack. Correct. That's arguably the main use. If you can get it to stick, of course, also good with Walking Fountain. That's healing 16. Yes. Um, I again, like the, This is at least something that you can experiment with. The again, last three were awful. Again, this seems like mm. one of those combo decks that people will try to make work, but it won't. Mm, probably not. Looks but fine. there Look, is probably some nutty ideas with this. Yeah, some Alakir ideas. Um, I don't hate it. You need an 8 attack minion to stick without any taunts to play this plus Wind Fury to deal 32. Yeah, 7 for 28 at that point in the game, unless it's an armor class, will probably suffice. But it still is a lot of commitment to the board. You have to have a 7 attack minion on the board without opposing taunts. Mm -hmm. That's already tough enough. But it does look interesting. It's, so, it's interesting. Again, it, there will be there will be people playing around with this. Yeah. I doubt anyone can make it work successfully enough to really play it consistently. No, but Probably not. But we'll see. It's it, cool. Yeah, it looks, looks fine. So that's all the cards. That's the whole set. And we've done this for a legitimate hour. Yeah. So if you've watched this all the way through... Drop a like and drop a comment. If if you actually watch all the way through, we'll pin your comment, and only for the first one because we only pin one comment. But man, uh, what do you think about the set? What's your favorite card now that we've seen it? What are you excited for in terms of deck possibilities? And uh, what are you looking for to try day one? To us, definitely Pogos. Yeah. The Pogos looking. I, I think my favorite card might be Hagatha though. Just a hack. I mean, it's strong. It's, it, it looks very, maybe, very good. Maybe Tall Waggle. I, I really like the villains in yeah, the yeah, general, although yeah, exactly. they're not all really equal. I like I generally like a lot of, of the rogue stuff. The rogue, the warrior, and a little bit of priest stuff as well. 
looking looking Even very the, very the nice. priest kind of fell off when they when they started doing silence the to reveal the silent stuff yeah i like i Before like it looked really good i like a lot of rogan warrior got to got to say i like a lot of those so we'll see what what uh, turns out to happen next week we get the the hysteria of a new expansion so that's going to be all all sorts of nuts but i'm definitely looking forward to it we'll have a pack opening as soon as possible hopefully on reveal day or at least the night of the reveal uh when exactly is the reveal do we know when the expansion drops i mean it's um it's april 9th i, I can't tell the exact time of day we could probably look that up i'm assuming the pack opening should should if they there are any on day one for us they should be around uh, expect them around 1 to 2 a.m. of uh, the ne- the next day after the the reveal evening. Central European, Central European. So, and then we'll and then we'll get into crafting, trying around with decks, and then making the new budget series because that's that's gonna be our new calling for the uh, following month or two to get the best budget decks out there because that's been our most popular series. So drop a like, subscribe to Trash Can TV if you have not done that so far, and go join our Discord because it's great, it's fun. Whole community is there again. Uh, shout out to this dude whoever proposed to to do this with the with the by the classes. I don't know exactly. I can look it up actually. You know what? We got this time. We've done. It. We've been at this for an hour. I'm gonna look it up now. No, we've just, got this time, implying we can't cut this or anything. Oh, uh, we got this time. I I have all this time. So I'm gonna just if I can find it at all, I'll I'll see who uh, who proposed this. Also, bonus fact: my coffee got cold during the recording of this video, which is a travesty. I I never expected that to happen. No, I mean. Terrible. So let's see. Let's see if he. Let's see yeah. if I can figure it out. You can right. manually scroll through this. You have to go. Oh, you. I did already search, but uh, but uh, I'll see. Uh, I'll see if I can. I can. I can seek this out at all. Hmm. This is. Uh, what did it? You want to just say the final words while I look through this? Um. Well, I mean, I could. I could also help you look through this because. Right. Right. JJ, you look through this, and I'll do the final wording. Also, after all, join our Discord. Yeah, join our Discord. Make some suggestions. Yeah, it's that's great. It's kinda... great. So, uh, it's, it's, it's actually fun in there. A lot of people having some talks. So, if you can find it this. It does search for keywords individually, even if you put multiple keywords in at the same yes. time. It's, it, it was one of our one of our dudes there, man. I'm, I'm sorry if we can't find it, but we'll try it. We'll try it, too. There, there it was. Scroll up, scroll up, scroll up. Okay, it's it's what's what's Ju Jumayaku? I literally put by class and it, yeah, yeah, it, it highlighted whatever, class. Whatever, co- whatever. Jumayaku, if that's your name. If it's not Jumayaku? Uh, Jumayaku? The guy with the grass profile picture, okay? Yeah, it, what profile picture? Grass, the uh, demon lord from D&D. The guy with the demon lord profile picture. Who's also been, by the way, dropping some mad news in the in the Discord ever since all the cars started getting revealed. Like yeah, that I mean, guy is a hell of a contributor. Like props to yeah, you. Like, shut up, man. If we ever do diamond memberships anywhere, that's that's I think that's our first uh, that's our first dude right there. Like uh, he's he's been putting in work. So yeah, I appreciate that. And uh, we've picked up your idea for that. So uh, if you butchered your name, by the way, correct. So that's uh, that's enough for today. Drop a like, join the Discord, sub, all that good stuff. JJ, that's it. That's it.